Hey, what's up? What's up? This is Free Sanity from the Cisco's Mining Channel. We are in my crypto mining bedroom again. I filled up my bedroom again with a bunch of GPUs on these um, smaller rigs. Um, these are like very old used motherboard and I use these PCIe multipliers or extend, extension whatever you call them um, so that I could put multiple GPUs. Now this is not the efficient way of doing it okay this is just a temporary solution because uh, I am waiting for server cases to arrive. Now what are these GPUs doing? Here? These are all these ones this one, this one, and this one are all mining Ethereum Classic, which has gone up in value recently, or well, uh, since like a few weeks ago. And I'm mining Ethereum Classic with all these four gigabyte cards. These are 1050 Ti's, these small ones, 1050 Ti's. That's a 570. 4 gigabyte like uh, Radeon, uh, EMD. Over there, there's uh, another one. Low profile 1050 Ti. And over here, we got two identical Sapphire, Radeon, Nitro, whatever you call them, RX 570. That's also a 570 over there, like a gigabyte one. And we got another 1050 Ti, and then two more 570 MSI and XFX. And I actually just bought this today, along with these two other ones. MSI and this single fan Sapphire, also 570 4 gb This one I'm having problems with, can't get it to work. This one I haven't tested yet. And in this video, I want to show you guys um, how to BIOMOS, uh, BIOS mod, I mean BIOS mod these 4 gigabyte GPUs to do, to do close to 30 mega, ha uh, mega hash on Ethereum Classic. Now you see the first one, first GPU here is already BIOS, BIOS modded, so it's doing close to 30 mega hash. The second GPU here, which is this one that I just got today, uh, hasn't been BIOS modded, modded. So I'm going to show you guys right now, and hopefully we can get this GPU to do similar to that one up here. Same identical GPUs. Which are which uses different um, memory brands. Now this one, on the other hand, I couldn't get it to work. I already flashed the BIOS, but it's still not showing the correct BIOS. Like I don't know this. This is. If anyone knows how to fix this, I don't know why I can't flash this. That ASUS GPU right there. I mean gigabyte GPU. I can't get that to flash. But anyways, let me hop over to my computer, screen record, and I'll show you how to BIOS mod. I just learned it a couple of days ago from YouTube and another crypto friend. All right, let's, let's get to it. All right, so we are on my laptop. So let's go to the rig that we were looking at just now this one right here so i'm i'm teaching you guys how to do it in hive os i don't know how to do it in windows yet so first of all we need to back up the bios of this gpu right here so we need to go to overclock and then you go download bios and then we choose this GPU one, that's the one that we're gonna mess with. So save the farms, bo storage BIOS. So I'm just gonna save it to the com on my computer. 
Yeah, so like that, it's gonna be saved locally on my laptop. Now, this is very important because we... Sorry, at this point I had some issues with the audio, so now I'm just recording over it. So, the reason why we save the BIOS locally is because we have to modify the BIOS. And we also want a backup, backup copy of the BIOS in case anything happens. If we break the card during the BIOS flash. So now we got the BIOS file downloaded locally on my laptop. So I saved it in like a folder somewhere on the desktop. And then we rename the file. Yeah, we dragged the BIOS file into the folder and then we renamed it uh, stock. We added the words stock at the end of the file so you don't have to do the exact same thing but just something to identify this is the stock files and you must have a copy of this okay save a copy of this so now we go over to the github uh, polaris BIOS editor github i will leave the link in the description below so now we download the polaris editor zip file and then after we download the zip file, we will unzip it, obviously, extract the file. Extract the file. Once we extract the file, we will uh, still extract. Hold on. Yeah. Let, let, the, let, let it extract first. And then there will be the execution file. We open the execution file, run the Polaris files editor. Yeah, a lot of they have, they have like a lot of menus. So now we go to open BIOS. We look for the stock BIOS file that we just downloaded from Hive OS locally to our laptop or your desktop whatever and then this is the BIOS so now we go to the bottom right corner and click on the one click timing patch this is the process where it um, modifies the BIOS settings like the memory and it's and then yeah etc yeah so you go OK, OK, and then done. The BIOS is modified. So now after you modify the BIOS, you save it as a new file. So I saved it as mod. We put the, I put the word mod at the end. So we got two different files. One is the stock one, and then one is the modded BIOS. So now, we go over to HiveOS, yeah, we go back to HiveOS, we flash the BIOS, so I'm just going to overview, make sure we're flashing the correct GPU, so it's GPU2, right, GPU02, so we choose the file. We look for the modded file, okay? Don't choose the stock one, choose the modded one, obviously. Okay? And then, GPU index, we choose GPU 2. Well, actually, sorry, GPU 1. Sorry, GPU 1 in this, in this scenario, yeah. GPU 1, and then we flash GPU 1. And then after we flash, we got to reboot it and then wait for it to reboot. Yeah, so now you can see after rebooting, uh, GPU 1, the hash rate has increased substantially from like 24, 25-ish to 28. So now we're going to... Uh, make it even more higher by applying 
some more settings. You can follow these overclocks if you want. And also, we gotta do one more thing. We go all the way down to add config. And then we choose the AMD um, tweak. The one that's REF30, that's the Hynix memory one. So whichever that corresponds to your memory of the GPU, choose that one. And then we'll, we will refresh the minor Hive OS. And the hash rate should increase. Yep. We just have to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Refresh. Refresh. See, look. Hash rate went to 29-ish. So, voila. This BIOS mod works like magic. Except for this one GPU down here, GPU 2, I had some issues. I couldn't, I didn't know why. I tried a few times, I couldn't flash the GPU. And it doesn't say anything in terms of the BIOS uh, version. It's like XXXXXXX. So whoever knows anything I can do, let me know in the comments of the video. Yeah, so... This is how you, yeah, BIOS mod. So now the hash rate is 30, is 30 something. So we've successfully BIOS modded. And you gotta do this to maximize your GPU output. Otherwise, yeah, you're not efficient enough, right? The GPU is supposed to do 30 mega hash. Why not unleash its full potential? And yeah, these are all my other GPUs, uh, all my other rigs that have the RX 570 4 gigabyte. Yeah, all doing around 30, 30 mega hash with the BIOS mod. And then something to look out for is the wattage displayed in Hive OS is not accurate. This I heard from other YouTubers, it's off, so it should actually be like. 80, 80 or 90 something, even close to 100 watts. If you actually put a power meter to the riser, um, it should give a higher wattage reading. So, just for your information. And then, yeah, there's another GPU, the MSI one, it's not doing very well. This one I also BIOS modded, but it's not polling near 30 mega hash and it uses quite a bit of power so yeah try not to get this MSI one if you if you can you, you you'll see it in a bit yeah so these GPUs are very cheap now this is the MSI I told you about try to stay away from it but I just got it anyways because you know what the heck might as well uh, these are going for around 700 all these 570 are going around for 700 to 900 Hong Kong dollars, which is like 90, 80 to 9, 80 to 100, 90 something to 100 something US dollars uh, used. And these 1050 Ti's go for like around around the same. So it's better to get these, obviously, right? Because these can only do like 13 mega hash on Ethereum Classic. 13, 14, but one advantage of these are they don't need power. Six pin, they only, they get the power from the PCIe slots. They do not need extra six pin or eight pin connectors. Like the 570, RX 570s, yeah. So each GPUs have their pros and cons. And I have like a bunch of these 1050 Ti's and yeah, now a couple of these 570, RX 570's and we are doing right now, hold on, let's see, a total of 400 something 
Mega Hash on Ethereum, on Ethereum Classic, which can yield about 10 ETC a month. So I've got two more that I haven't installed yet. So hopefully we'll be close to, yeah, so we should be close to 470 Mega Hash on Ethereum Classic. Yeah, some of these rigs are not in my uh, crypto mining bedroom, obviously, they're somewhere else. But this one, this one, and these three are in my bedroom right now. The other two are in my other locations. Yeah, these are all 1050 Ti's. Six, so six, six rig, six GPU uh, server case rig. And no, no, open air rig, open air rig. And this is an 8 GPU server case rig. And these three are the ones over there. Yeah, these three guys. Yeah. Those are mining Ethereum. Yeah, these are Ethereum, Ethereum. Yeah, that's a 3090, RTX 3090. Anyways, so hope you guys find this video useful. I don't do a lot of these educational videos because I'm not very good. I'm not a pro, I've only been mining for a year, so I also learned it from other YouTubers. And you can easily find other videos regarding this, but yeah, these are all my rigs on Hive OS. Yeah, <laughs> over 23 rigs, it's crazy. At different locations, of course. Yeah, all right, so I hope you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up comment down below are you mining ethereum classic um yeah i and i'm still buying gpus i call me crazy but they're cheap and i think they can roi pretty quickly because the cost is very low for them and i'm not gonna take i'm not gonna take risks and buy expensive gpus anymore i'm just aiming for the cheap ones where i can roi quickly all right so please subscribe, share this video, help me reach monetization for this channel. We're still not monetized yet. And we just passed 1,400 subscribers. So let's get to 1,500 soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out and keep mining.